Hey guys, what's up? This is Mooney B123 coming today. In this video today, I want to show you how to root your LG G2. All right, I'm running the Verizon VS980, but this should work for any G2 variant. So there's several ways to actually root a G2. There's four. There's four main methods. There's IO root. There's Purple Drake. And those are those are ones where you where you're connected to the computer and you're sending over ADB commands. We're, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you those two today. What I'm gonna focus in on today is two methods that you can do strictly on your phone where you don't have to you don't have to flash anything over from your computer. And usually these two methods are gonna be able to catch it. Sometimes there's gonna be some issues that you run into, like the very very newest. Verizon OTA update that's the 26A. It's been having some difficulties getting that thing rooted uh, with stump root for some people, but uh, the two methods I'm going to show you today should take care of most uh, updates, most versions that you're going to have on your G2. So the first one I want to show you is towel root. Alright, so over here on my computer, just go to towelroot.com and you just if you'll click on this lambda uh, Greek letter right here this is this will take you and you will be able to download that that APK which I, I suggest just doing that on your phone if you do that on your phone <clears throat> it'll it'll download it there actually just do it on your phone that way you don't have to transfer it over so just go to tileroot.com on your phone you're gonna download that Okay, so I tried to download that in Chrome, and for some reason, this has happened to me on another phone. I just assumed something was going on with my phone, but on if I tried to download that in Chrome, it went crazy. It just started opening up tabs like crazy, so I just went to the standard browser, and it was able to do it. So when you click on that, okay, it's going to start downloading for you. All right, now, before we install that, just to save a little bit of headache here, if you'll go ahead and go over to settings and go to let's see, it should be under security. Under security, you want to go to unknown sources and go ahead and make sure that's checked. Because if you don't have that checked, it's if you try to install that tile root, it's gonna it's gonna give you a problem. So make sure that that unknown sources is checked. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that APK that I just downloaded. I'm going to install that. Open it up. And click Make It Rain. Alright, so that's one way to, to, uh, to root is using this towel root. Now, if you've taken some of the newer updates, this won't work. But if you're, if you're on one of the older ones, then, then this one could possibly work. All right, the other other method I want to show you if tile root doesn't work is stump root. So let me show you that one. So that tile root's by GeoHot, and this stump root is by JCase. All right, so over here on my computer, over here on XDA, so JCase, he's got his stump root. And you can you can go here and download the stump root version 1.2.0. So just do the same thing. Just download this directly to your phone. Stump root version 1.2.0. This type of this type of file can harm your device. Well, the the way it works is it 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 does exploit some vulnerabilities. So, but we're still we still want that. That's what we want. All right, so that's downloaded. So we're going to go to Stump Root, install. All right. Okay, and and I've already used Stump Root. Yeah. So I've already used Stump Root, and I've and I've was able to to root my G two using Stump Root, but one of those two is 
is where I would start off because those are the easiest ways. Those are going to be the, the quickest way to try. If you can get it with one of those two, then there's no reason to use the other two, the IO root or the, the purple Drake method. Because on those you have to connect and you have to send ADB commands, that type of stuff. So I would try the easiest ones first. And like I said, for the most part, those two, the Tower Root by Geohot or Stump Root by JK, typically one of those two are going to be able to catch it. All right, now to check to see if you have Root, you can download this app from the, from the Play Store. It's called Root Checker Basic. Now, like they say here, this... Uh, <clears throat> this this app does not root your phone it just checks it okay I okay so one thing you need to make sure of okay one thing you need to make sure of is that you have super su I think with with stump root it doesn't install it and also with tau root it doesn't install it so <clears throat> okay so after you root with either tau root or stump root you're going to have to install some way to grant root permission you may be rooted but you need an app that can give different apps root permission so it's what you need to do is after you've <clears throat> okay, so after you've rooted with either Tau root or with Okay, so after you've rooted with Tau root or Stump root, you need an app on your phone that will grant permission for other apps to be able to have root access. You may already have root access. But you need another app to, to be able to grant that. So it's what you need to do is after you go through that, those steps of either using Tau Root or Stump Root, so what you need to do is you need to go into the Play Store and install Super SU. Okay, I've already got it. And after you install that and open it, it's going to say something like this. The SU binary needs to be updated. So just tell it continue, just go the normal method, and it, it'll take a just a little bit there. Installation success is recommended to, to reboot. I'm not I'm not gonna do that now, but you you'd want to go ahead and do that. So you you've rooted it, you've got super SU, go over here and make sure you've got that. Then the last thing you want to do is to and like for stump root, after you've rooted, you can go ahead and just uninstall stump root. But once you've done that now, to check to see if you have got root, the easiest way to do that is to go into the the Play Store and download the the program called Root Checker. And you're just going to get this Root Checker, the basic one. So I've already got that. You're going to install that. You're going to verify root. And it, once you do that for the first time, there's going to be a box that comes up from Super SU and it says grant or deny permission. And you're going to want to push grant because you want to give this, you want to give this root, root access. And so you can see there, root checker says, congratulations, this device has root access. This app does not root at all. All it does is just check whether you have root access or not. So like I said, what I wanted to do in this video was to just give you two methods to be able to root Tau root and Stump root. And through one of those two, usually you're going to be able to root your, your LG G2. Thanks for watching today.